The Titanic was deemed an unsinkable ship and left for its maiden voyage on April 10th, 1912. It left from Southampton, went to Cherbourg to pick up more passengers, and even Ireland and France. The crew of the Titanic alone was 900 people. With the addition of passengers, the total load was 200, 220 passengers. The lifeboats only 1,000 and 1,200 people. When Titanic collided with an iceberg team, April 15, 1912, many people died. Before the collision, sensed or saw it coming. Premonition, perhaps. What is up here? I am Jade, your host for this video again. So we're going to go with top 10 Titanic premonitions. Real people did actually meet their end on this ship that night. Let's hop into the real story premonitions. Let me start with number 10. First, in fiction. So an English newspaper named William T. Stead was on the Titanic on his way to New York, which he was at the request of William T. He was, he, in 1886, he read, a, he read a book called How the Atlantic Mail Steamer Went Down. Like the Titanic, it sank in so many just similar ways. It also lacked lifeboats. In fictional fields, many people drowned. He believed it became a reality. And he sadly died on the Titanic. Number nine, beware of water. A first class passenger, it either course Evans, was traveling aboard the Titanic, was a group of sisters, and the four women together be in front of Cornel Corn Archibald Grease. When they, he tried to reassure the ladies that her ship was unsinkable. Edith remembered fortune, fortune teller told her. Her warning from the fortune was to beware of water. Edith was convinced that the prosopy did told some truth. Accounts of the subject disaster, she gave up her seat on a lifeboat for one of the sisters shoot, as that friend also had. It was even honored on her number eight. George and Edith Vanderbilt. This couple was set to settle on the Titanic. Their maid was even put their stuff on the Titanic. The couple had traveled abroad quite a bit from around the world. This was another voyage coming back from where they were traveling. Then a family member disproved of this. They said so many things can go wrong on a maiden voyage. So the veteran reboarded re re to Olympic but then went to Titanic, and sadly, George died on the Titanic. Number seven, gut feeling. Chief Officer Henry Earl joined Titanic as last minute, or as the last minute to the addition to the crew. He mailed his sister a letter during the ship's fun over in Ireland. He's like, I don't like their ship. I have a very queer feeling about it. He sadly died. His addition to the crew min may have been some kind of domino effect. Other, office, other officers were demoted, and one was Lego, David, Bla David Blair, who took the keys to the binoculars with him. It unlocked, it unlocked the cover for the, uh, the binoculars for the coverage to the Titanic's lookout. So they scanned the open suit that he helped not using these binoculars, binoculars not even sending the binoculars. Number six, loving life. This goes with common sense. A survivor server of the singer Renee Harris, a, a stranger wonder of it, if she, a man asked if she loved, he, she said yes, you will get off this ship at, at Cherbourg if you get off. Yes. He didn't, Harris, Harris and her husband didn't. Her husband died as she didn't heed the warning. Why do I say this? The passengers had seen the Titanic nearly collide with the city of New York vessel. By 72 inches. I would have hopped up too. It just shows something may be wrong. Number five. This family was on to Ch Eva Harper. Gonna go with this one. She had a bad feeling, but her mother said, deeming, to, deeming this ship with telling Esther Hart with slipped in and she heard a bump. And she did. Her vigilance saved her daughter's life and her own. The father on the family gave his spawn for elder for the other women and children on the ship. Both Esther and Ava made it across safely. A voice in his head. When Alex Mackenzie was was walking along, a voice in his head said he would lose his life if he was on the liner. He could see anyone, so he shook it off. The warning didn't stop. He heard the voice a second time. 
Each time, it was stronger than the time before. Turn back and return to his home in Glasgow, Scotland. It was a luxurious maiden voyage. He received his grandparents as a gift. His family wasn't happy to send him to return. When they heard the news of the disaster. Number three, foreboding. John Coffey hopped on a center. Either he was either a stoker or a, or a boiler room foreman. He sadly got off at Queenstown Island, his hometown, weeks after the shipment had sent because he felt a strange foreboding sense about the voyage. He went to get work on another ship. This person got their story on a hitching running ship by working and ditching their contract early for a free ride home. Or they just did sense for running or I'm gonna go home to my family because I feel safer. It's sounds our way. Number two, eat it. Third one of this video. Edith Rosenbaum, Edith Russell, was a first class passenger traveling on Titanic. She was say most wonderful world you could think of. She said she couldn't get over it. A feeling of, of depression and premonition were in her head. Reportedly a toy to the fellow passengers as they waited for help on the lifeboat. She continued to travel extensively after that and survived tornadoes, car accidents, and even another shipwreck. So her premonitions were helping her. Number one, uti futility. So Morgan Robinson wrote a book called Futility or the Wreck of the Titan in 18 1898. This was 14 years before the disaster. It was 100% fiction. It has parallel events to Titanic, the luxurious luxur liner in the world. It's very similar off by two. Robinson wrote the sank and sank in the North Atlantic Ocean after smacking into an iceberg. Robinson denied that he, he had psychedelic. He knew of shipbuilding, and even the dangers. Still, the similarities are very, very uncanny. Two hundred seventy meters long, can go as fast as twenty knots, and barely lead the numbers. Both even sank four hundred nautical miles from Newfoundland, Canada. I wish the crew of T Titanic to keep an eye out. That is scary as hell. That is it. That is all the top 10 Titanic mer uh, Titanic premonitions. And we're all having a hard time talking today, so give me a break. So like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to see all the positive vibes from you people. So follow my social medias down below. I hope to see you guys there. You can get sneak peeks of gameplays, urban legends, of whatever I'm going to be doing. Like and hit that notification bell. You have a right to get all personalized or whatever. Or if you're on your phone, just go into your settings and hit that hit the uh, note and hit slide across for notifications. Have a nice day, guys.